Last weekend's ice and rain left us with a lot of moisture. No one was left out. On a five-day rainfall map from January 13th to January 18th, Putnam and Fairview tied for the highest rainfall amounts, three and 44 hundredths inches of rain. We had reached a critical time for winter wheat and canola. This moisture gives farmers a renewed chance for a crop this year. The Oklahoma Mesonet dual rain gauges are not heated. When we get ice, sleet, or snow, it collects in the top of the rain gauge. The top is tall enough to hold plenty of ice or sleet. While it doesn't hold a lot of snow, snow in Oklahoma tends to be on the dry side. Ice, sleet, or snow that falls into the top of the rain gauge will be recorded as it melts. Our upper soil moisture situation has really improved. A map of the change in soil moisture at 10 inches over 7 days from January 11th to January 17th shows all the increases. 25 sites increased by 5 tenths or more in fractional water content. A change of 5 tenths or higher means the water held in the soil increased by 50% or more at 10 inches. That's a huge change over 7 days in the middle of winter. Here's Gary with a look at how all this moisture impacted our drought situation. Thanks Alan, good morning everyone. Now as Al told you, parts of the state did receive significant amounts of moisture. Unfortunately, some of that did come in the form of that damaging ice, but it is Oklahoma and a lot of times moisture does come with unfortunate circumstances. Let's take a look at that latest drought monitor map, see who received the most benefit from that moisture. Still have lots of drought in the state and I'll show you why here in a second, but uh, we did see a, a reduction in a lot of that uh, severe drought, that uh, darker brown color across northwest Oklahoma, um, that extreme drought, the red area across east central and down in southeast Oklahoma. Now let me show you why. This is a departure from normal rainfall map for the last 90 days. Now despite the moisture we've had recently, we're still had the 29th driest last 90 days on record. That's October 20th through January 17th. For northeastern, east central, and southeast Oklahoma, it was their 17th 8th and 19th driest such period on record respectively and those records date back to 1921. So we have short-term moisture versus long-term deficits and that is the reason we have the uh, continuing drought uh, across Oklahoma. Now if we look on the U.S. Seasonal Drought Outlook from the Climate Prediction Center, this is valid for mid-January through the rest of April. Uh, April 30th, 2017, we do see uh, that drought is expected to persist across much of the eastern two-thirds of the state, but some uh, improvement um, or removal is possible across the northwestern one-third. So Panhandle, northwest Oklahoma, um, some improvement is possible in that area. So if we get some good spring rainfall, uh, maybe that outlook map will look a little bit better as we get into the next few months. That's it for this time. We'll see you next time on the Mesonet Weather Report.